Why is single carrier FDMA called single carrier? Here's a block diagram of SCFDMA and it uses OFDM, which has multiple subcarriers. So it might seem contradictory to be calling it a single carrier when it's using a multiple subcarrier system. It takes the data in the time domain, does a DFT, allocates to the subchannels, and then uses OFDM. For more details about this, check out another video on the channel. Find the details in the link below. Well, let's think about what FDMA is. So here's a frequency picture of FDMA, Frequency Division Multiple Access. And in this system, different users are given different portions of the frequency band. And they are quite distinct sections of frequency, and they each have their own carrier waveform, which they use to modulate and demodulate those users. So this is a multi-carrier multiple access system. Now let's think of OFDMA. In this case, there are all of the orthogonal subchannels. And again, for more details on OFDMA, check out the other videos on this channel. In this case, the frequency is divided into what we call subchannels, which are very tightly packed. They are all orthogonal, and this is achieved using digital processing, using the discrete Fourier transform. So that processing achieves the frequency orthogonality, and then you just use a single carrier to upshift the entire digital waveform. So this is called a single carrier system. Even though OFDMA is using multiple frequency channels, we're calling them subchannels and they're achieved digitally. So what about SCFDMA? In this case, the allocation to subchannels can be done in different ways. One of the ways to allocate to the subchannels is to allocate a block of subchannels to each of the users. And this is represented here. We still have all of the subcarriers because we're using OFDM. They are done and created using digital processing in the DFT, uh, but we give a block of the subcarriers to user one and a block to user n and so on. And so clearly here we can see if allocated this way, it has the characteristics of FDMA, which is why we call it FDMA in the name. Here it was done, each one of these blocks had its own carrier done analog. Here we are part of an OFDM overall symbol which, as we said before, for OFDM only requires a single analog mixing procedure to go up to the allocated frequency band, which is why we call it single carrier. So it can be confusing because it uses OFDM, but it's called FDMA, in fact, single carrier, which we don't often talk about for OFDM, but hopefully this helps to explain that for you. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. It helps others to find the channel. Check out the description below. You'll find a web page with a full categorized listing of all the videos on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos.